My name is Alicia Garrick. I'm a developer and designer, and I work for Laxalt and MacGyver. That one sucked. For Laxalt and MacGyver, about two years doing dev. Designer, four years total. I mean, everyone tries to a lot, right? Um, I would say I succeed partially on that. Um, always want to be traveling more, but I think I get in about like three to four trips, even though some of them are obviously smaller, like San Francisco or something like that. I was an artist as a kid and uh, wanted to do something involving art that ideally would also make money. <laughs> um, I would mostly draw just using pencils. Um, I like to copy drawings or copy paintings um, for the most part. Even though I was always interested in art, I also really liked problem solving and uh, math. And when I first went to college, I actually went there for civil engineering. Then I ended up hating civil engineering. And when I went to the Google campus one day to check out their logo design team, I found out that half of them were developers and half of them were designers. And I was like, hey, if I wanna be a competitive applicant in the design world, then I might as well get my hands on some development stuff as well. So then I decided to get a dev minor. And then my current employer at Laxalt and MacGyver, Pete, convinced me to uh, do development and design, even though that was never really the plan, and then I fell in love with it. Ones that want to be really creative, I enjoy doing um, completely uh, custom sites that have like more interactions and more of an experience with it than just a plain marketing site that um, just goes straight to the point, has to sell some products. So ultimately a client that likes to have some fun, create something different. I would say probably just the way that it connects to design. A lot of times we say that uh, we design like through development. Um, so a lot of times when I'm designing something, I'm already developing it in my head. So I just say the connection to the artistic part and how that shows through numbers and functions. Yes, I actually got a couple rubber ducks for Christmas one time. I think brainstorming is, it. like especially if you feel very uh, free to talk to who you're around could be one of the most fun and ridiculous things you could do. You know, you start off with the most ridiculous ideas ever and then you finally get to something that's like kind of okay and then all of a sudden you realize you said something brilliant. But it took getting through those ridiculous answers to get there. When I was still at the university, I was on the cheer team. That's why I'm wearing these Nevada cheer pants. Um, so I cheered all the basketball games and the football games. And before I did that, I did competitive cheer and then gymnastics before that. So this is actually the first time in my life where I'm not directly involved in something athletic. Um, but I've been coaching, so that kind of makes up for it, coaching cheer. Yeah, I would just say with a smaller team, we're forced to um, take on many roles, which is the in my opinion, the best part of my job is I'm not just stuck doing one thing. Um, so, but I would say it's harder as well because sometimes you're you're taking on something that you haven't done every single day of the week or maybe ever done before. Maybe you did it a month ago. And so um, I would say that's what's different is you're, uh, you're constantly being pulled into helping in uh, realms that you're not always in. Um, but it definitely keeps you on your toes and makes it so you always have an interesting day. I mean, I had to do it in 15, thir I mean 30, what was it? 30. Yeah, 30 minutes. So not too many stars there. Like 10? Like four? Four and 
four out of 10. It's almost there, it's, it's getting better. Does your cabin look like a cabin? Yeah, yeah, it looks like a cabin. I'm gonna make it look more like some wood in there. 